just want to say a couple of things as we start through this uh, this day. Uh, we have had a uh, uh, quite a week when you think about uh, Martin Luther King and the, his great speech in Washington. And when he spoke of the uh, having a dream for this country and spoke of having a dream for for the people of this nation. And the thing that strikes me, I think, that uh, about it is that as we meet today as a community of people, and we clearly are a community of friends, and we've been at this work a long time and fought a lot of battles together. And we fought one battle uh, this last uh, last year with uh, Mr. Bill O'Brien around the issue of right to work. And I want to thank everybody who came up to the State House during that and fought and made sure the right to work was not the the, uh, was not in New Hampshire, didn't come to New Hampshire. And the thing is that we, we fought back when we had to fight back, and we paid back when we had to pay back in November, and that's why we have Maggie Hassan, and that's why we got a House of Representatives, and that's why we have a delegation from the Senate Council that we can depend on. We gather here today really based on the shared values that we have as a, as a state, and shared values that we have as a group of people. You know, when we when Martin Luther King talks about uh, talks about his dream, it reminds me of the dream that people have every day as they wake up in this country. The dream that the car detailers have, and Burger King workers, and McDonald workers have when they dream of raising the minimum wage to a place where it should be, so that they can live a decent life. That should happen in this country. When people wake up who are poor in this country, and there are millions of people who live on the margins in this nation, they wake up and they have a dream. And their dream is to wake up some morning and be in a better position, and to have enough food for their family, and to be able to live the American dream through a good job and a pension and health care. When people wake up in this country, they have a dream that they can go to the polls and they can do that without harassment. Voter rights is still an issue in this nation and we have to put this behind us. Everybody should have the right to vote. And we should stop this crazy stuff that's going on in this nation because they have a dream. And for those college graduates and those people who are entering college this year and those people who came out last year, they have a dream. A simple dream. They want to be rewarded for the work that they have done while they were in school, and they want to leave that college, and they want to make sure that they have opportunities and good jobs and places to go. They deserve it. Each and every one of them deserves that because they have a dream of their own. And for those people who are old, those people who live on the margins, they need Medicaid and they need Medicare, and they need the continuation of Social Security in this nation. They deserve it, and we should make sure that we protect those programs at all costs. And finally, let me say this. That those people who want to come to this nation, who want to participate in our economy, who want to make sure that they can be part of this country and they can share in the wealth of this nation. The immigrants of the, of the world want to come to America for a better way of life. My grandparents did it, many of your grandparents did it, and it's time that we recognize that immigration reform has to take place in this nation. The time is now for immigration reform. He has a dream for his working men and women that come here that work in the state of New Hampshire. And Joe did a terrific job a couple of weeks ago or a week ago on an op-ed that he wrote in the paper. And what Joe is saying is it, it is a hypocrisy, hypocrisy that we build a training center for the future of this nation, for the future workers of this country, for the future workers of New Hampshire that has no apprenticeship training programs that has no accountability, that has no opportunities for the people that are going to work in that in that building. We needed a project labor agreement on that job to guarantee 
And, the, and Senator Shaheen and others pushed like hell to make that happen. So brothers and sisters, as we start through this day, let's make sure that the values that unite us, the values that join us together, the idea that everybody has dignity, that everybody has respect, that everybody has good pensions, that everybody has an opportunity to do what they want to do in this country. We want to make sure that that is what we fight for each and every day. This is not going to happen tomorrow. It's not going to happen the next day, but it will happen if we continue the fight each and every day. Thank you so much for those for giving me the opportunity.